Hi, we're we're just getting to the top of the of the Esker uh, in Great Esker Park, and uh, I just want to go over this Esker concept again. What what it means? Um, the Esker is a high band. It's kind of a curvy band, but it's a high band of soil, a high band of rock and and uh, glacial uh, material sediment that has accumulated in a kind of a thin rill of um, high topographic area. And the reason for that is because when the glacier came south, underneath the glacier there was melting water. And the melting water carried all this sediment with us, everything that this, this esker is made of. But if you look to the left of me, and you look to the right of me, topographically it goes down. Like I can walk over here and drop off the side really fast. I can go down probably a good 80 feet to reach the... Now, I can walk across 10 steps here and go down another side, and I can go all the way down another 80 feet, down to the land below. And so those areas were ice. That was ice on that side and ice on this side, and underneath here was where the stream went, sedimenting out all the rock and sediment that created the esker. We're at the top of the hill, right where it's called um, Town Oaks Trail, uh, to a trail that goes down to Reversing Falls. It heads down this way, which is the way we're going to go. But it's kind of interesting to look. You know, here we have great or, uh, black cherry trees. There's a couple of them. Uh, here we have a, a birch tree, a gray birch, uh, you can see behind us. Uh, on the other side of us, on the far side, as a stand of white oaks uh, mixed with some black oaks. So there's a real mixed woodland here. Um, some of it's open to the sunlight, and that's why you get the birches and the, and the uh, black cherry, and the oaks are your, your predominant uh, species, woodland species for here. Thank you. We'll see you down at the bottom of the hill.